Evening everybody, how you doing? It's um, a little bit late. This is coming up to midnight, I think. I thought I'd make a real quick video just because it's been ages since I've actually done anything. I figured I should um, just make a quick little video just to let you know I'm all still alive. I haven't forgotten about it, about you all. And um, yeah, just to give you a real brief little update on what's going on with the piercings and the nose and all that. So yeah, um, first of all, just want to say sorry for, for it being for so long since I made my last video. I think it's coming up, I think it's been like three weeks now or something like that, possibly even longer actually. Um, life has just been a little bit crazy, a little bit hectic. <laughs> yeah, we're getting stuff sorted out for the um, wedding still. And um, things are changing up a lot at work for me at the moment. All my shift patterns are completely changing. As of next week, all of my pa patterns are completely going to be completely different. And just little things are... All sorts of little random things are just changing up at the moment. And um, yeah, it's just, I just haven't found the time to sit, really sit down and make a video. I was sitting here, I was just sitting here watching YouTube on the TV actually. And um, it occurred to me it's been a little while since I actually made a video, so I might as well get something new done. So yeah, I was, apologise if the camera's a little bit shaky. Uh, Millie keeps winding up Gwen, if you keep hearing a cat hiss. <laughs> okay, madam. What's that mean kitten doing, do you? Oh, now what's she doing? She's crazy. Anyway, yeah, so I'm actually sitting down, obviously. So I'm holding this, so sorry if it's a bit a bit shaky, <laughs> but I'll do my best. I just, um, I don't know, I couldn't be bothered to go in the other room, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, nothing... Um, Nothing has changed as such since the last video. Things are just um, progressing on as normal. The septum is still at 20, yeah, 29 millimeter. Now, I don't know how well you can see. It's quite red around here, the bit that usually gets red. And again, that is just where the, um, the jewelry is settling into place and, and just irritating the skin a little bit while it calms down. I am, um, I am not expecting it at all to have to go back down anymore. I'm fairly, I am about as certain as I could possibly be that this will be the time where 28, 29, sorry, millimeter finally sticks. Um, it's still a little bit swollen. I don't know how well you can tell. I think it's going to be a bit dark on the screen, which doesn't really help. But I don't know how well you can tell, but it's a little bit swollen and it, there's still quite a bit of flaky skin on it just because it's so tender. I'm trying not to fiddle about with it too much. And um, that means obviously when I'm in the shower or something, I'm not able to scrub all of the dead skin off. So it's sort of build up, building up a little bit and it's a little bit dry, particularly around the real tender spot. But it's okay. It's it's straightening up a little bit, which is good. It's doing its usual thing of leaning off to that side, but I'm fully expecting it to, um, to settle down more centrally once it's less inflamed and irritated still so yeah i'll try and give you a, a look at it you know what's in my i don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it because this isn't my usual um where i normally make a video let me get that right right well, i don't think you can really see much um let me try that way around yeah a little bit better yep Obviously 29 millimeter. I'll just show you the gap between the bottom of my nose and my lip now. It's getting smaller and smaller every time I stretch. Tiny little gap between the bottom of my lip. Or well, the bottom of my nose and my actual lip. <laughs> that's, that's quite... Um, that's interesting to watch that actually get smaller. Obviously you can't normally see with all the hair in the way. But yeah. And um, yeah, I haven't as yet um, stretched my left conch. I did originally plan on stretching it pretty much last Sunday, the day after I went out to the gig. But um, just because this is taking a little bit longer to settle down than I had expected, I don't want to be dealing with a painful conch and a painful septum at the same time. So whether or not I will actually stretch it before the wedding or not now, I don't know. Just because, again, I don't want a massively swollen up and flamed ear on the wedding. <laughs> I just want... Um, so I might well end up waiting until after the wedding, which is a bit of a shame because I'd hoped they would be even. But then that's only one millimetre, isn't it? 
I might even just put a 16 back in just for this day, just so they're even just during the ceremony and during the pictures and whatnot, and then pop 17 back in. Might might even do that. I'll have to think about it. But um, yeah, the lays themselves, as I believe I mentioned in the last video, I have started taping them up a bit. I've, I'm not exactly sure how many layers are actually on it now. I think it must be 10 to 12 layers, something like that. I haven't really been keeping track. Just every every three or four days, I'll wrap another couple of layers around. Actually, probably probably even less than that. Probably just about once a week. I'm wrapping another two or three layers around. So I don't know exactly how big they are. Obviously, the, um, the new jewellery still hasn't turned up yet. It should... Well, I'm, again, I was hoping that would be here before the wedding, but the closer that gets, the less likely that seems. I'm actually considering giving the company a just a quick email, perhaps at the end of next week, if, if nothing still has happened, and there's no um, obvious progress with that. I might even give them a e quick email and just to ask them if there's... if it's um, likely to be done in the near future. So the last few times, I think this is the fourth time now I've ordered from them, the last three times, the jewellery was actually made pretty quick. But I guess because it's been Christmas and New Year's and all that, they're just a little bit behind for whatever reason. But, um, yeah. So I might well message them in the near future just to see if there's any chance of it actually being here before, obviously, the wedding. If not, I might, I might even look into getting some other ones. Just something cheap and nasty to wear that's just not covered in tape. It'll be three inches out of the wedding. But we'll see. Again, we'll see exactly what happens as time goes on. But yeah. Um, uh, the other thing, as I had mentioned before about getting my nostrils pierced, I'm still planning on doing that in the near future. I had toyed with the idea of doing that before the wedding, but um, I think I'm going to wait until afterwards now. Obviously, also because of the amount of time I had off work when my leg was all messed up. Um, I wasn't paid a great deal this month, and so I'm going to wait until my next payday to stretch, or not stretch my nostrils, but to get my nostrils pierced, which is only, yeah, that'll literally be two days before the wedding, so <laughs> I would doubt, I highly doubt I'll be getting them pierced before the wedding, which is, you know, kind of a shame, because I kind of, the more I thought about it, the more I kind of wanted to have my nostrils pierced during the wedding, well, not, not literally during the wedding, but before the wedding. But, um, you know, it's one of those things. Life doesn't always go quite the way you planned. So, but yeah. So I will, it will still be in the near future. Hopefully, I'll say maybe mid mid to the end of March. Some, sometime around there, I'll get that sorted out. And that'll be all right. That'll be something to look forward to. Yeah. So I say I'm quite looking forward to that. It'll be, um, it's been a long time now since I've had actual new piercing. It's been se several years now, I think, actually, since I had actual brand new piercing. So I'm quite looking forward just to, um, to going through all that, having all that done. So the last things I actually had done were my traguses. And that was... Oh, I don't know. That might even be two or three years ago now, even. I'll actually have to look back and see if I can figure out when they were actually done. I think. I'm questioning myself now. But yeah, anyway. So yeah, sorry it's been such a long time since I made the last video. I will, um, once I get into a bit more of a sensible routine and, and all these various little things coming up that I have coming up are done with. So in two weeks time I'm going to a little mini music festival in Birmingham. Um, then obviously at the end of February I was obviously the wedding. Then the middle of March I might actually go into another festival. That's still up in the air as yet. And I will try and make videos in between all these different things, but until everything's out of the way and everything's into a, back into a bit more of a sensible routine, I don't know exactly what spare time I'm going to have to make videos, but I will try and get something up, just so, um, just to uh, show that I haven't forgotten about all of this or whatnot. So yeah, so yeah, a bit of a rambly video there. I don't know if you can hear that. One of my babies is doing something behind me. Just making all sorts of funny noises. Maybe another real close up of the nose. I don't know how well you can see. Probably can't see brilliantly. The lightning, lighting, lighting in here isn't fantastic. But yeah, 
I will get some, go get a, um, a proper more substantial video up in a few days time probably. So yeah, thanks for being patient with me. See you again soon and um, yeah, try off now.